This is the most challenging uh, photography trip I've ever had. Well, good morning and welcome again to Lyne Regent on what is a horrendously windy day, which is a good thing for me because what I'm after today is, which I hope you can see in the background, is this. Quite, not a massive amount of swell, but the wind's picking up and really smashing the, uh, the sea into the cob wall and obviously what it's doing especially in the distance area it's like chucking it over the top of the wall and what i'm after is like a waterfall effect on the other side um so i've just been purposely waiting for a windy day like this to hopefully get down and uh, take a photo of this so i'm hoping you can hear me all right because it is horrendously windy and the noise you could probably whistling noise you can probably hear is the wind actually moving through some boats that are next to me uh, so yeah it's really really windy I've got the uh, Intrepid 4x5 with me. I've also got the 6x17 back, but I don't think I'm going to shoot that today. I think I'm just going to shoot uh, 6x17. Um, and I'm hoping that once I get the other side of the car, because the wind is coming from this direction, it's going to shelter me from the wind, so I'm not going to get that camera shake, which you'd normally get. So that's what I'm hoping for, fingers crossed. But I'm really excited about the day and about getting some uh, sort of waves crashing against the cob sort of shot. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I don't think I'm going to be able to go on top of the cob to get any shots because it is just way too windy i might be able to get it with a lumix which i'm filming on now but anything else is just going to be way too windy so yeah um let's get on with it so as you can probably hear i'm just trying to hold the uh camera steady the wind is fierce at the moment and uh, hopefully I'll get a shot but you can see the water just coming over the top of the uh, cob behind me and if I just go around this corner I'm having to hold this with two hands it is just absolutely mad around here <sighs> I don't know if you can see that I might have to just uh, lower this short ISO a little bit but yeah it is fierce out here um, so I'm just trying to find somewhere at the moment to hide with the 4x5 uh, to be able to capture something. But yeah, struggling at the moment. Whoa, it is windy. Definitely challenging. Well, as you might be able to see, this is probably, no, this is the most challenging uh, photography trip I've ever had uh, and I've had some pretty bad ones over the years but this one is the most challenging um, this is a beautiful scene here with the waves crashing over the top of the cob uh, the end of the cob I even like the um, the, the barrier at the end there it sort of just shows the, the the force of the wind that's absolutely battering me at the moment uh, there's just Oh, we're nearly at high tide now and it's just water everywhere and the, just the wind. I might have to retire back to hiding behind the cob over there where I'm sheltered from the wind a lot more. Um, I really want to take a shot here. I've taken lots on the Lumix. So I might just have to put some video, uh, some shots what I've taken on that because I think it's just way too windy to get the uh, 4x5 out and attempt a shot here. I just think that I'll lose it about 10 mile that way if I even attempted to get the thing out. Um, I did pick a nice shot out here with the 180mm lens uh, looking down the um, towards the end of the cob there, but it's just way too windy. Uh, I am mad enough that I might just attempt it, uh, especially with a bit of black and white. But again, the other issue here is predicting when the wave's going to come over the top of the cob. I mean, at the moment, it just seems to be constant. But now and again, you'll get like a real nice big wave come over the top, but I can't see them coming. Um, and that is an issue because obviously I've only got one shot, so I can't ride the shutter and just take a burst fire like you would do with a digital camera to catch uh, yeah, the movement as it comes over the top and obviously then go back and pick the shot that you want from that. I've only got one shot, so trying to catch something like that just has come over, it's very difficult, but I do like the waterfall effect you get where it comes over the cob and then just sort of 
rolls down the other side of it. It's, it's really beautiful. But like I say, just trying to, trying to work in this is gonna be mega difficult. Um, but I am tempted to set up here and just see the effect that this wind is gonna have on the 4x5 just set up with, uh, with maybe no lens on the front of the moment just to see how much sort of camera shake I'm gonna get. Um, you know, am I gonna get a sharp image on this? Probably not. Um, I have tried sort of cowering behind the wall just here, but then you just lose that shot that I'm looking for. So um, I think I'm gonna just set the 4x5 up and just see how much camera shake I'm actually getting to see whether it's worth carrying on should trying to take a shot here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get set up now and we'll just see how much camera shake we're actually getting. Right, so I'm hoping that the audio is still working. Um, what I've done is I've actually just set up in this little alcove with a seat on it and I've got the uh, camera resting on the seat. Uh, I'm absolutely soaked. Oh yeah, was stood next to the wall and I got hit by two waves as they come over. Uh, so that's why my hair is an absolute mess and it is, uh, yeah, everything soaked, uh, even this camera. I feel sorry for a Lumix and what I would say about my, um, my camera is uh, it's definitely waterproof. So uh, that's been well tested. <laughs> it's just been soaked in seawater twice now. Um, but I think I've got a shot that might work here. Um, so I'm going to set on my 4x5 and uh, 250 more lens and the protection of this sort of little alcove hopefully will be enough to keep everything dry because one thing that is for certain is that this is definitely not waterproof so uh, I'm going to get set up here I'll see you in a minute okay so we've got some good swell going on now uh, this year I've got two people stood in my frame so I'm just waiting for them to get out of the way yeah it's been clear for ages I <laughs> the uh, and then the um, battery ran out of my camera, so I've had to change it. Um, anyway, I'll run through the settings while these uh, two girls are sort of stood there. They're actually walking back this way now. So I'd meet it around the scene. Uh, dynamic range has been quite a bit of a problem. It's about six and a half stops uh, throughout the scene. So that's the two girls just gone behind me. Um, so what I've got uh, set up now is um, it's F22 and two thirds. Um, excuse me, 60th of a second. I'd like to have uh, had a bit. Sorry, I just had to take that in because a massive wave just come over the top of the uh, the cob. So I'm really hoping that I got that. Um, but yeah, just trying to shield the lens. I've got water on the dark slide, which is going to be an issue if it gets onto the film. Um, so I'm just trying to keep everything as dry as possible. It's sort of working in here, but. Ugh. These are the worst conditions. These are even worse than the ones I had the other day when out in the snow. So this is HP5 Plus. Like I say, F22, two thirds, 60 for a second. I'm trying to catch the waves coming over the cob. Um, so I'm having to sort of take the dark side out and be ready. Um, you might have just noticed then that I just put the dark side in the wrong way. Um, well, that's a big weight then. But like I say, the side, I've, I've been using the side just to shield the lens, just to try and keep as much of the water off the lens as possible. Um, it is quite difficult. So some of these shots might come out as being quite misty, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's beautiful conditions for photography today. Absolutely beautiful. Like I say, I'm really surprised that this Lumix has still survived because it is getting an absolute hammering. Um, but I'm just literally waiting for decent waves to break uh, the ones are breaking near me um, obviously it's falling as if it's raining here um, like there so I'm just trying to keep the shield uh, the lens as much as possible I think the best conditions really was where I was earlier over there I mean I could just see the waves breaking but I haven't got a long enough lens to be able to sort of do it justice I suppose um, but the waves are really crashing over the top of the um, the cob in the far distance over there, um, which is making some real beautiful uh, shots. And I wish I just had a longer lens to be able to capture that. I might try, um, I might try capturing it with my uh, digital camera and see if I can get anything with that. But um, yeah, it's beautiful over there. So we're just waiting for a shot now. 
Also, what I'm seeing is the light is just catching the waves as it's coming over the cob, um, which is just making it beautiful. But I wish I could just see what was coming to know when to press this shutter. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot over there and I'm going to turn the camera around just so you can see what I'm looking at. Um, but I'm just going to put this back in here and I'm going to turn it. I have to do it this way. Um, and I'm just going to turn the camera around and just point it at where the waves are breaking at the end of the cob. Um, just going to hide this in my bag so not to get it damaged. And I'll just turn you around now just so you can see. But hopefully in a minute you'll be able to see the waves crashing over the top of the end of the cob there. But I think what I'm going to do is point in that direction and shoot that way. Right, so I've changed position. I've got salt in my eyes. <laughs> the rain like hell, but I am loving it. I'm going to be honest. Um, so I'm, not, I'm shooting the same direction. Um, 250 more lens on. I've changed the portrait 160. I've got two um, shot sheets of that left. It's been in the um, in the holders for a, for a while, to be honest. Um, just trying to keep the lens dry. It's probably misty, I should imagine. So. They're not going to come out the sharpest, but I'm really liking the way that the waves are breaking over the top of the uh, cob that I just pointed the camera at earlier. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to take these last two shots, um, f35 and a third, to give me eighth of a second. And that was a real nice one that just broke over the top there. So hopefully that one is a good one. And I'm going to take one last shot of this, and then I'm going to call it a day because I'm freezing, soaking wet, and I don't think my camera is uh, probably blessed breezed with me as it stands at the moment. All right, just wait for a nice wave again and... Uh... Got it, that was a beautiful one. So that's it for this one, I think. Um, I am absolutely soaking wet. I'm pretty cold and uh, the camera's wet. The Lumix is absolutely soaked, uh, but done well today. It's definitely waterproof. I can confirm that. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like to it would be absolutely amazing and a subscription to the channel would be even better. Um, so this is, like I say, been a crazy adventure with the uh, 4x5 today. It's uh, definitely been a challenge with the wind and the, uh, just the, the spray off the sea that's coming over the wall. But hopefully the shots that you will now have seen have been good ones. Um, yeah, and I shall see you guys in the next one.